Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to use the Digicam Control software with the Nikon D3300 for tethering. First you come down here to Digicam Control, download the software, and it's the only software I know of that lets you tether on the D3300. Now, if you get the beta version, it also works on the D3400 and the D5. So once you've installed it, you'll get this light, uh, little light shortcut here. It'll say you're at 2.69. And then you take the little tethering cable that came with the camera, plug it in, turn it on. It will recognize it, and it'll show you that it's got the camera right here. Okay. And you go to you can go to live view so you can see what you're doing. Let's go ahead and reset all this back to zero because I was playing with things. Yeah, let's go F11. That's a little dark. Okay, shutter speed. We're ready. Let's focus. And you can move your focus point around if you want to. Uh, just click where you want it. It'll refocus. You can do a preview. Let's show it here in a second. Here's, there's the preview of what we took. You want to actually take the picture, simply hit capture. Okay, and you're ready to go. That's going to take five shots because I told it to take five over here. <coughs> okay, it's done. And here are my five shots. Now you can also use it over here. Let's go ahead and set an EV of minus one. And let's take our top. And there's our shot. Um, it has all the different focus modes, everything just like you're on your camera. It will also do bracketing. So here I've got five shots going from negative three to positive three. I'm using use an exposure. There are other kinds of bracketing. I tell it start. Sorry, there we go. There's one. There's one. <coughs> it's actually doing the third shot right now, but it's only showing you the second. So that's not bad. Uh, but the point is, you can do it with the D3300. This is the only software I know of that will let you do it. It will also do astrophotography, which is fantastic. Um, let's say I want to capture time of three seconds, and I want three photos, and I want to go two seconds between shots. Now, this is obviously going to look really, really bad because it's daytime, but start to capture. And here it comes, one at a time. And of course, it's going to get really ugly here. So, that's why you can tether with the D3300. Have a good day.